HCAM TV Sports presents Hopkinton High School Hockey, where tonight the Hillers take on the Acibet Aztecs. Hi, everybody. Mike Prate here with Mike Terosian. And, Mike, we got to start off with uh, hallelujah or whatever. The Hillers have done it. They've made the playoffs made already. the playoffs, which is uh, fantastic. I'm glad that it's, this is going to be a first time for me. Well, they're 10-2 and two on the season. They have 20 points. And they uh, beat... Uh, Dover Sherborne uh, three to one on Saturday, and uh, and that put him in the playoffs. Jack Sloan with a couple of goals, uh, Cam Finlayson also with a goal, and that's how they won. They're 10 2 and 0 with, like I said, 20 points. Well, it's January 27th, 2016, and in my years of doing these games, that is definitely the earliest the Hillers have ever come in and made the playoffs. Well, they had a lot of points. They got the, they got most of their points. Uh, real early in the first half of the season. In second season, they got points like any good team does. Well, now one of the things the Hillers must do, of course, is to stay healthy, still improve, because as you get towards the end of the season, you want to be peaking at the right moment, and this team uh, really needs to stay focused and play like they have been playing all season long. With their 10-2 and record, they go up against an Acibet team tonight, that is uh, eight and two, and they uh, play the Aztecs, Aztecs coached by Dave Quinn, and uh, the cent they're uh, out of the Central Mass uh, Russell Conference. They came off a Monday game, Mike, which they beat Littleton Bromfield by the score of four to three, and in that game, a player that the Hillers will have to watch out for, Ernie Jones, who scored four goals for them. And for them, with their eight wins they have 16 points and of course for them they need a couple more games to make the tournament also so we're all moments away from starting our hockey game tonight and the hillers as i said in the opening have to be congratulated coach mcpherson coach scott o'connor mike messier and coach eric carty really have something to be proud of this is the second time in their tenure the hillers have made the tournament well the this time, you know, like I said, way ahead of schedule here tonight. That game um, that they did beat Dover Sherburne three to one, as I said, Jack Sloan, a couple goals, Cam Finlayson with a goal. Uh, Dylan O'Leary had uh, picked up his sixth win on the season with a 27 uh, save performance, and that and gave the Hiller the needed two points that put them over the edge to the tournament. The coaching staff really has something to be happy about as they also uh, don't know, I'm sure they know, but fans out there might not know that the Hillers are, as of today, in second place in the TVL also, which is something that something never, we don't get to say. I didn't get to say much right. often either, too. So, Because <laughs> you've only been doing this for a few years, right, Mike? Yeah, um, I think I figured it out the other day, 10 or so. But yeah. um, Hopkinton... Uh, is home here tonight against the Aztecs, and they're an okay team. Um, one of the things for them, though, they, they've only given up 18 goals on the season, and uh, like I said, they got to watch out for Ernie Jones. Jones wears number 24. He's a senior defenseman who had four goals. As we're ready to listen to the national anthem,
Well, the national anthem here at the Navin Arena in Marlboro, Massachusetts, here on January 27th, 2016. We get set for Hillers versus the Assapet Aztecs. Assapet, as I said, a member of the uh, Division 3A Central Conference, Mass, uh, the Russell Conference, and, uh, and they have 16 points and need a couple more games to make the tournament. So one of the things the Hill's got to be a little bit careful of too. You don't want to be letting down either, even though you've made the tournament. And uh, when we get ready to drop the puck, Finlayson at the center. And uh, Will Abbott comes in now to skate in. And Simos on the left wing now. And here's Abbott. Abbott skates in. He's at the circle. Backhand try goes wide. And in the goal for Asabet, looks like Ian McCarthy wearing number one for the Hillers. It's uh, Tim McGrath. Tim with a 4-2 and two record. Both the Hiller goaltenders uh, have really good uh, goals against averages. McGrath with a 1.5 goals against average offside. The Aztecs and Dylan O'Leary with a 6-0 record and a 1.8. Tim McGrath. He uh, has faced 96 shots and saved 87 on the season so far. And as the Hill has changed their forward and defense units now is Matt Lindquist at center. On the right wing, Jack Sloan. And on the other wing, Owen Delaney. On defense is Pickens now. Pickens with the puck goes up the sideboard. Now to Lindquist out of the center and goes in. He falls. The puck is chased after by number 11, R.J. Delaney. Delaney now tries to get up, but he can't. Rister, that's on goal, and it's loose. A shot and another uh, wide shot there as it went by the goal. And uh, Dan Delaney tried to keep it in, but he can't. Pickens now spins, throws up ice. He's got Sloan. Sloan to the center now. There's Owen Delaney trying to get a rolling puck, but Asabet is there to chip the center. Now Hopkinton will have to check up on side. Asabet goes in now, and they throw it behind the net. And trying to chip it out to center is Karpensky, but Karpensky, the icing gets waved off. Chasing down is Ernie Jones. Jones on defense. He had the four goals in their last game against Littleton Bromfield. He wears number 24 on the back blue line. And as the Hillers try to dump it in, and they get it semi in. And Koshev, slap shot is blocked down in front. Cross ice, it goes, bounces off the sideboard. The shot that's blocked it down in front by Asabet. And the Hillers, Karpensky comes away with it, tries to throw it in front, but it goes cross ice, and there to get it. It's Coveney. Coveney launches it down the board, but it's taken in by Voki. Voki with a backhander that goes wide, gets it back now. It's on his feet. He misses, the, avoids the check, but he's double teamed now. And Andrew Chavez throws it to center, and out it goes. Icing is waved off there also. Up ice it comes. Here's Koshev. Alex Koshev now gets the puck on the goal line backhander goes behind the net there to chase is Karpensky. Karpensky now throws it on an Asabet player and he launches it down the length of the ice. It's going to be on goal and it's sticked aside as Everett Rolf now tries to get it out. It's thrown out in front. Dangerous pass shot and a save and it's covered and by McGrath. Boy he had to take a turnover there Mike and uh, make a save. Twelve oh one to go, first period. There is no score. There's a shot and another save, right off the faceoff. In the center zone, Peyton Breyer he got a shot on goal there. And he gets it back. Now he squares up, but he's defended. Abbott lifts it to center, but it's corralled and by one of the alternate captains, Zach McGarrion. And that's. McGarrion with the puck as he circles around now. Cross ice. 
It's thrown down the length of the ice. In to get it is Billy Allen for the Hills, but his icing as the puck went all the way over the goal line for a stoppage of play. 8, 11, 34 now. Left in period number one, the Hillers versus Asabet. The Aztecs is their nickname. Face-off win by uh, Finlayson. Finlayson throws it on goal, but it's sticked aside, but out it comes as Rolf has to gather it. Throws it right back in, but it goes into the netting. Oh, the referees aren't going to call it since it did go in. The <laughs> they missed that, Mike. Yeah, I missed it too. Here's a shot and a goal by Finlayson from between the circles. Well, the referees absolutely missed the net the puck going into the netting and now the Asabet players Mike are talking to the referee by the goal line to tell him and they're pointing up to the netting they just didn't oh, see it yeah and you know the, the typical referee response if they didn't see it it didn't happen right well both of them and now the coaching staff on the Asabet bench where they just yep. blatantly missed it and, and uh, he's, he said it's okay. All fin right. Finlayson uh, gets the goal. Well, he just hammered the shot. I'm not sure whether or not, Mike, and of course we don't have instant replay. I'm not sure whether or not Asabet stopped playing because they saw it hit the net. But uh, Cam Finlayson was wide open between the circles. Sure. And uh, well, for, for Cam, that's his sixth goal on the season. Sorry. Uh, in sports coaching 101, you keep playing until you hear the whistle. You know, you're 100% right about that. And Linkless throws it in off the board. Now Asabet will launch it down the length of the ice, and they're going to get called for icing. With 10.37 to go in the first period, the Hillers leading 1-0. Well, a break goes Hopkinton's way. And uh, the mistake by the referees... Cam Finlayson capitalized on, and he drilled a shot right by the goaltender McCarthy to give this Hillers a 1-0 lead. Oh. And Hillers come away with the puck and try to get out to the point, but they can't. And skating in now is number 22, Adam Melito. Melito chases his own puck. He's uh, helped out there by Cam Benway. Benway throws it around the board to Melito. Melito keeps his feet moving, but Linquist is over on the boards, and there to get it is Delaney. Delaney pushes it out the center, but Asabet's going to have to check up off sides. Delaney to his brother. And uh, Coveney could not get it out. But Asabet's changing. There is Coveney to Koshev. Koshev ha can't handle it. But Kobe comes back up on He tries to get it out of the zone, but he can't. Kobe now puts the brakes on. Goes up the sideboard to Koshev. He can't corral it. Now back and kept in, but this time it goes out. And it's offside. And so that will have to check up. Hopkinton hammers it around the board, not realizing he had time. Oh, it's a pass that was to two players right in front. Asabet just couldn't handle a rolling puck there. Yeah, two guys on the goaltender. McGrath. And Asabet putting some pressure now on the puck. Connor Rodriguez tried to keep it in, but out it comes. Dylan Sawyer now chops it back in for Asabet. Here's Delaney. Delaney throws it up the sideboard, and this unit having trouble getting it out of the his own. Koshev now loses the handle. He's double teamed. And up the sideboard now, Karpensky. Karpensky looking to get it out, and he launches it to center, but it, it hits the netting. And the referees see that one here. 8.34 to go, first period. The Hillers leading 1 0. And uh, maybe a face off to the stick side of McGrath. One by Hillers. Abbott gets checked, but now Finlayson with speed. And Finlayson blows by his man, and he's at the circle, takes a shot, and it's a, a save that goes into the netting. 
Oh, Cam Finlayson with his speed just raced by the defenseman and got a good shot off and it was a blocker save into the netting as McCarthy. Who looks like he stands about six foot two or so over the net. But face off one by Acebet. Acebet's number 11, RJ Delaney now sweeps it behind his net, bare to get it, McGarrion. McGarrion throws it up off the board, kept in by Allen. Abbott tries to keep it going, loses his stick. Now uh, Allen will launch it in and Hills will check up on side. Simos comes down, checks his man. The puck is turned over. There's a, a vicious check that was thrown hard into the boards, but down it comes. Icing is waved off as Rolf comes and gets it. Now Rolf with speed. Everett. The junior defenseman gets right in the circle. Here he is at the shot. It's a save, and McCarthy saves it off his body and then grasps with it with the glove and stops play. 7.37 to go in the first period. The Hillers leading 1-0. Hopkinton on this season has uh, scored 50 times and uh, has given up 21 goals. And they are second in the TVL standings to Medfield. Medfield with an 11-1-1 record on the year. And one of the amazing things about them, Mike, is they have scored 59 times Medfield and given up only 19. So they're the cream of the TVL. Yeah, they but are. but Hopkinton right behind them and uh, wins. And here's Pickens now. Chips it up off the board to Delaney. Delaney can't get enough on it to get it out. But there to help out is Pickens. Still not out of the zone. Back together is the captain, Dan Delaney, now settles the puck down, reverses, and looks up the sideboard. He has a man, cross ice to the brother, and now it goes underneath the stick of Jack Sloan. Sloan chips it into center, and Asabet looking to get it out, and they launch it down the length of the ice, and it'll be an icing against them. It looks like the uh, Asabet team, Mike, you know, has a little bit of trouble trying to skate out of the zone, so they're trying to launch some uh, full-length ice passes down. Face-off inside the Acebet zone. Oh, Hopkinton can't get it. And now back to get it is Connor Delaney. Connor throws it up to Koshek, but here's Karbensky trying to keep it, and he does. Voki now comes and puts some pressure on the puck. Voki now at the circle tries a backhand towards the middle, but it's intercepted and taken to the sideboard by number 20, Dimitri McGuigan. And McGuigan launches the center and out. Here's Karpensky, though. Will, the senior. And now Asabet looks to set up. And behind the net, R.J. Delaney. Delaney throws it to the center ice. A bouncing puck will not be iced, but the Connor Delaney now throws up the sideboard to Koshev. Koshev had trouble as he was pressured with it. Now it's loose in front. Now Voki comes out. And Voki just tips the center. And they're going to change. Asabet tries to sneak in with Adam Melito, but it overreaches him, and it'll be an icing against the Aztecs. Yeah, Michael, I, uh, what I'm noticing is Asabet having a real hard time getting it into the hill of zone, but once it does make its way in there, they seem to do a pretty good job keeping it going. Yep, they're, they've had some zone time. The face off one by the Hillers, but Rolf can't handle the pass as it went back to the point. There to get it is Ernie Jones. And back to Rolf. Rolf squares himself up, takes a wrist to on go towards the goal, but it goes wide. Allen comes down the pinch, keeps the puck deep. Finlayson knocked it down to Simos, but Simos threw it around the board, but it kind of hung up on the board. And the Hillers weren't able to get there. Rolf is double team now. Simos comes and helps out, but it goes down to Rolf. He chips it, and it goes back to the point. Rister towards the goal behind the net. And uh, Finlayson, I mean, so Allen now comes and gets it. And now here's Rolf. Rolf has a puck at the circle. Chips it up to center to Simos. Simos corrals it, but he chips it into the Aztec zone, but it doesn't come out. Now Finlayson. 
with his speed. Avoids the check. Now looks to pass, throws in front, there's a shot, and it's blocker down in front. A nice pass by Finlayson. I think he tried to hit Simos coming down the slot. It's a bouncing puck that goes wide. Abbott now goes and gets it. Will throws it to the defense, a shot that I think hit someone in front. There's a wrister that's blocked down in front. Boy, Asabet's got five guys packed in deep. There's a puck that's on goal and a save by McCarthy. And Asabet having all sorts of trouble. They're finally going to get the center and out, and they dump it in. But they did not get the red line there. Oh, I guess the referee didn't see that either. Yeah. Wow. Well, this referee crew has had a couple of problems. The, the trail ref raised his arm, and the front ref didn't call the icing. And here's Finlayson with a backhand that goes wide. Delaney comes to pinch the puck. His brother comes and helps him. And now it's back to Delaney. Picks up a bouncing puck. Oh, there's a puck that just went wide. Pickens now a bouncing puck goes wide also. There to get it is Ryan Pant Partridge, a Pantridge. There's a wrister that's on goal and a save through traffic. And down the length of the ice it goes. Icing is a waved off again. The Hillers had a chance to play it. Both teams change their players. Up ice it goes. That's going to be icing against the Hillers as they tried to spring a man. But it was too long for him. 3-10 to go first period. The Hillers leading 1-0. A Cam Finlayson goal. His sixth of the season and that gives him 20 points on the year so far and face off shot is on goal and a save and that's a bet now as mike pointed Ooh. out once they get it in this in this hiller zone they do some good things with it and sloan now tries to dump center he does here's linquist now linquist throws it towards the goal but it goes wide it looks like the Hillers are just trying to get tons of shots on goal here. And they don't, they had a little time there. Delaney now to Pickens. And a shot that is a stick save by Acevet. Jones keeps it in. Now it's out to Linquist. Linquist still doesn't get out. He tries to chip it out off the board. Now he gets it to center. And Sloan is there. He's tripped up from behind by Jones, but. The referee said play on. There's Pickens. Will avoids him in. Now he gets into this circle. Takes a shot to stick save. Backhander in front. On goal and a save. Delaney takes a shot and it's a save also. And Hopkinton now swarming. Koshef now with the puck. Alex tips it to Zvoki. And there's a whistle. And a stop at your play. That came dislodged. And that's it. But the uh, Asabet player must have knocked it off because the faceoff stays inside the Hiller zone. 1.59 to go in the first period. Hopkinton leading 1 0. And a shot and a save. Backhand that goes wide. And now RJ Delaney chips it to center. Bouncing puck that is going to go on goal and it's going to be covered by McGrath. He takes no chances because he had Adam Melito, the senior forward, chasing the puck down also. Face-off won by Asabet. They keep it in. Now throw it down towards the goal line. It goes behind the net. Melito now with the puck for Asabet. Connor Delaney puts some pressure on the shot. Bouncing puck that was a save by McGrath. And Voki gets the center. Here comes Karbensky. Gets a rolling puck, but it goes off of the Aztec player. And now kept in by Coveney. And now the Hillers try to get onside. They do his Voki. He had a stick now. Voki with 10 goals on the season. And he gets it back. Shot, and it's a save. And another shot that goes over the net. Melito now throws it around the length of the ice, but it's knocked down. Coveney dumps it in, and the Hillers are going to change a couple of players here. Aztec is going to change three of their five with 45 seconds to go in the first period. Bouncing puck to Voki. Voki doesn't catch it, and he dumps, it's dumped back in. And here's Allen. Billy Allen reverses. 
Oh, it's a shot and a save. There's Karpensky. Cross ice. He's got Simos. Simos comes in, shot, and it's a save. No, oh, it's going to be waved off. Well, the goaltender looked behind him. Ooh, Simos raised his hands. Steven thought he had his, uh, his eighth goal of the season. Well, a couple of players thought it was in, but the referee says no. And so it'll be a face-off with 21 seconds to go in the first period. Face-off won by Asabet. They throw it to the point, but not out. Down to Finlayson. Finlayson tried to hit Simos coming down, but just hopped over a stick. Abbott now throws it back to Rawl with five seconds to go. And here's shot on goal and it's a save. Actually, check that. That was eight seconds. Now it's five seconds. And a face-off win and a shot is possible with five Point three seconds. Abbott right behind Felice and Felice and tries to go forward with it. It's going to be bottled up. And that is going to do period number one. Well, the Hillers Cam Finlayson put a goal up on what would be a controversial play as the puck sure was. went af into the netting, but the refs didn't see it. Came down, was thrown back to the middle, and Finlayson put it in to give the Hillers a one nothing lead. We'll be back with second period action in just a moment. All right, we get ready for second period action where the Hillers are leading one nothing, and they're leading because, as we pointed out during the game, uh, period rather, uh, Cam from Layson got the goal unassisted, and that was at the 11-15 uh, mark of the first period, and that's where we stand one nothing. The shots on goal total and I was talking to uh, assistant coach Eric Cardi, who told me that if it wasn't for the flurry at the end, uh, as Asabets were leading in shots on goal, but as it turned out, at the end of the first period, the Hillers had 13 and Asabet had 10. And the Aztecs will skate from our left to right as we are perched in the stands facing the two benches. Was, of course, we're going from right to left. And the faceoff won by the Hillers. Allen to the red line, dumps it in on the so far, far board. Up to the point, and out it comes. There to retrieve. And was a 17 can Benway. Benway lost the handle on it, but it's thrown up to Simos, who uh, gets it out of the zone. Here's Finlayson, who races in. He, he, he hits Abbott perfectly, and he scores. Oh, what a pretty pass by Cam Finlayson. And Will Abbott finished, and that gives the Hillers a 2-0 lead 30 seconds in to the second period. Well, there's no controversy on that goal. Well, that was a sweet look and play. Simos gave it to Finlayson on the near board. He raced in and fed a beautiful pass to Abbott. Here we go again. Here's Finlayson. Cross ice this time. He tried to hit Simos coming down the right side. Now the clear by Simos to Finlayson. And Finlayson threaded a pass to Abbott who jammed it. And between the pads of goaltender Ian McCarthy... And the Hillers, 30 seconds in, have their second goal. Hopkinton dumps it in, but Asabet is there to re retrieve it and back to get it now is Abbott. Abbott, cross ice, it goes to Pickens. Will throws it up the sideboard there to corral it. As Asabet's R.J. Delaney gets it back now, it knocks it down out of the air. But here's Lindquist now, he tries to punch it in but it's dumped to center back out and down the length of the ice it goes. And Jack Sloan now gives it up to Pickens. Pickens to Delaney. Here's Sloan. She takes a shot and a save. Bounces down. McCarthy turns his glove over on top of the puck and stops play. With 13-16.
left here in period number two. The Hillers leading two to nothing. And face off one by Hopkins. Delaney takes a shot, but it's blocked in front, but it's stolen by Sloan. Sloan throws it behind the net to Linquist. He's double teamed. Now Sloan with it. Oh, nice backhand shot and a goal. It's put in by Delaney. Well, Jack Sloan went behind his back, and he threw it out to Delaney, and Delaney jammed it in, and the Hillers now lead 3-0, and they have scored two goals in under two minutes here in the second period. They really turned it on the speed uh, this period. Oh, and Delaney picks up his third goal of the season. At least that's who I'm calling it. Oh. Linquist went down hard. And the puck now bottled around now, but Hillers dump it in. No icing there as uh, McCarthy, the goaltender, left it. And there to get it for them is McGarry, and he throws it out front. It's a two-on-two two if they hurry. Adam Melito throws a shot, and out of the zone it comes. McGarry throws it back, but it's thrown back in. Hillis make wholesale changes. The shot goes over the net, off the glass, and it's taken away by Melito. Melito throws it, and Rolf is there to get it. Everett skates to center. Now he enters, takes a shot, it's blocked by Jones. Off the board now, Allen pinches. He fumbles the puck, but he has enough to get it behind the goal line, and Karpensky throws it back to him. Bouncing puck that's loose in front. And here comes Asabet trying to get out of the zone. They can't. And the Hillers, Billy Allen goes hard into the board. And icing is going to be called against the Aztecs. 11.39 to go here in period number two. The Hillers looking for their 11th win of the season. They have clinched a playoff spot with their 3-1 to one win on Saturday against the DS Raiders. And that win also gave them an 8-2 and two record in the TVL. The Asabets come into tonight's contest, 8-2, and 3-1 and in their conference. And that conference is the Russell Cup. Shot on goal from Everett from the point is a save. Karpensky kicks it to himself. Now he gets it back. Backhander in front, bouncing puck that had McCarthy had to make a save on. Rolf comes down and pinches. Vokey now puts on the brakes, reverses, now goes behind the net, looking to set it back up, but there to take it. And out of the zone, Connor Rodriguez throws it to center, but not that deep as Karpensky tips it in, and Vokey goes and chases. Karpensky gets to it also, backhands. Now Vokey has it at his feet, now throws it in front, looking to hit Koshev coming down. Now Vokey with it. Voki reverses. Karpensky in front to, to uh, that looks like uh, Koshev. And they got a shot off, but a ha McCarthy had to make a save. Icing is waved as it was tipped. Horgan now, the defenseman throws it up ice. He has Voki. Voki is checked. He's checked off the puck by Delaney. R.J. Delaney with a check, but Horgan now comes and gets a rolling puck, settles it, goes cross ice, and he's got Henry Vo uh, Koshev. Henry dumps it in. Henry's a sophomore. And Hopkinton changes. And then Simos goes back and sweeps it. Oregon now gets too close mm -hmm. to the goaltender McGrath. And McGrath is like, uh oh. <laughs> he was worried about it sliding off, but Henry had no problem with it. Throws across ice, hits Simos. Simos chips it to uh, Finlayson, Finlayson chips it in, and Abbott comes and chases, he steals the puck. He takes it away from Delaney. Now Simos, Simos gets to the circle, cross ice it goes to Dan Delaney. Delaney Arista, that's in goal! It's tipped in front! Delaney's gonna get credit for it, but it went off a defenseman, and the Hillers have put their third goal here in the second period up on the board and take a four to nothing lead.
Well, that was a strange carom there, Mike. It went off of a defenseman in front. Yeah. McCarthy had no chance. And, you know, it's the, one of the adages, too. Throw the puck towards the net. You never know when something happens, and it goes in. And there's going to be a timeout taken by Asabet. They are not liking what's happened since they've come out of the locker room. And the Hillers at the 944 mark have put up their third goal. So in just over five minutes. Yeah, from, from my vantage point, Michael, the Hopkin is controlling this puck a whole lot better. They are so much faster than this Asabet team. They are uh, out skating and beating them to the puck. And one, one of my favorite things they're doing, they're throwing a lot of stuff in front of the net. You know, let the garbage get picked up. You know, the, the, I've seen a lot of that uh, the, the past couple games. Huge improvements. Well, their speed has really taken its toll on Asabet. Hillers had a one nothing lead. They scored early in the first period, but then 30 seconds in, they got the first of three goals, and like I said, in just over five and a half minutes, they have put three goals on the board. Asabet has a closed-in conference with their coaches, yeah. and that's usually a sign of the coach is going to say something, but he doesn't want the rest of the rink to hear it. And so the Hillers now with a 4-0 lead, 9.45 as the clock has stopped. And it's a faceoff as Dan Delaney took a shot from just over the circle here and went off a defenseman in front of Asabet, and it went in. And for the captain, Dan Delaney, he has picked up his first goal of the season. And Dan, one of the typical stay-at-home defensemen, has a shot that goes wide. Length of the ice it comes. A cross ice pass. McCluskey had to go off his skate. Now it's blockered down. Pickens now. It's dumped to center. That oh, was a big collision check there. That should have been a penalty. One of the Aztec players stuck his leg out there. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to see this uh, rest of this game get a little bit more physical as the frustration will build up on Asabet. Well, Nick Saporosius is going to go to the penalty box for an interference, and so Asabet will have the first power play of tonight's contest. With the Hillers leading 4 nothing now. The faceoff will be to the glove side of the goaltender, Tim McGrath. McGrath has been perfect so far. Make sure they're going to move it over to a stick side. So at the 8.45 mark. Well, cross ice intercepted. Here's a break in. Here's Delaney. Takes the shots over the net. <laughs> Owen Delaney had a break in. And since it went off the netting, maybe a face off outside of the Asabet zone. Hopkinton on the season has been successful killing 26 out of 31 penalties. So what that really means is they've given up five power play goals in 20 in 31 tries. So not terrible. But they're having a, they do not have a shorthanded goal yet this season. Faceoff comes inside. You know, Mike, I think I might have been calling the wrong goaltender's name there. You know that. I'm not sure if this is a goalie change or not because he doesn't look like the same guy. I was just saying the same thing, but the number one, right? No, it actually turns out uh, Lazarus, Lazaros rather, was number 31. So I'll have to check that. And I apologize if I've been calling around. I couldn't see the, the kid's number from where we're standing. But yeah, it's hard to read these numbers on the arms. But I'm pretty sure the goaltender had a white hat on. Yep. We yeah, were. it was. It was the captain. He's in the bench. 
All right, so there's a goalie change now, and McCarthy is in goal. It's a shot and a save. It's cleaned up in front, and the penalty to Saporosius is over. Comes out of the penalty box. And Simos comes and retrieves it. To the point, but out of the zone it comes. Abbott now retraces the steps. 6.55 to go in the second period. The Hill is leading 4 0. And Saporosius is going to go back and get the puck. Stops behind his net. Now throws it up off the sideboard to Abbott. Abbott ha can't stop a bouncing puck. And now Asabet tries to come back in. Connor Rodriguez goes in. Pass in front. Oh, it's a Ooh. good stick lift by Rolf there as he had to take on Dimitri McGuigan, who came down the slot. Asabet playing with a little more verve here now after that timeout. He had a power play. And he has killed it. And there's a pass in front as Abbott tried to come down. It was a good pass by Allen. Tried to hit Abbott coming down. Delaney now sweeps it. Oh, he throws it off of the, I think, the mask of Saporosius. It doesn't come out of the zone. Now it's dumped in deep. And, but Dylan Sawyer now races to the bench as the Hasabet Aztecs make a change. Hillers dump the center. Here's Alex Koshev. And Hillers are offside as Saporosius was trying to get to the bench. And Koshev danced on the blue line and then went in. So there's a stoppage of play. 5.50 to go in the second period. You're watching Hopkinton's television station, HCAM. And if you go to their website, hcam.tv, you can see the schedule or anything that the station shows. And I understand there will be a streaming live for some of our sports contests also. Yep, uh, we just uh, have a new streaming system, and they now stream on iPads and cell phones, smartphones. So uh, there you go. We, who says cell phones anymore? I, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I still call it that, too. Well, I'm older. Yes. Yes, you are. Now the Hillers keep it in. Delaney takes a shot. Bouncing puck. Oh, it's on goal and a save by the goaltender, McCarthy. That's the right McCarthy in there. And a bouncing puck, and it's stopped by McGrath. You know, one of the things, too, is a lot of times the score sheet doesn't get into the score box, so we don't get a chance to see who the starting lineups are. So if the goalie doesn't turn his back often, right. which we'll go. they have had to make a goalie change, we believe that the Chris Lazaros was the initial goaltender. And now into the contest is McCarthy. And Ernie Jones, the man with four goals the other night. Turnover. Abbott passing a shot and a save. Boy, Simon was there. He tries to tuck it in. And it goes, uh, I think, a stick save also. Or the side of the net. One of the two. Simos now avoids a couple of checks, throws it in front. And it's, it's backhanded to center. And a rolling puck is going to go to McGrath, who leaves it. And it's stolen. But now stolen back. Coveney now. Has to get it. He winds it hard around the boards. And chipping it, trying to chip it out was Abbott, but he couldn't get it there. Now it's out by Finlayson. And there's a break in. Melito throws it on goal. Backhander is on goal, also on the save. And now launch the center, and the Hillers try to get out of the zone. Abbott is going to be not getting there in time as it's icing. The icing rule still the same as it is in high school. Uh, the NHL changed the course a few years ago where they they used to have, you'd have to touch up the puck beyond the goal line. Now the NHL has to show that the puck is beyond the goal line or at least towards the goal line and an opposing player is not going to beat a defensive player to the puck and that's the difference. High school it's automatic, goes beyond the goal line. And it's an icing, as long as the player didn't gain the red line, which is typically the center line. 
Hopkinton launches it in. It won't reach the goal line here, so Acevedo has to play it. R.J. Delaney for Acevedo has the puck. He's double teamed by the, 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 uh, Delaney and Sloan. Sloan falls down, and Dylan Sawyer comes up, but he throws it, but it's Linquist now there to clean up. Linquist keeps his feet moving, throws it in. Linquist keeps it in, and throws it in. Here's a break in now, and as a whistle, there's going to be a penalty. There's a hooking penalty. And Matt Linquist is going to go to the penalty box. And he is getting an explanation on why he's into the penalty box. Doesn't like it. The ref called it right away. And a faceoff for Asimov's second power play is a shot, and I believe that got through. And now here comes Simos. He's by himself. He's in a break in. Simos to the middle, takes a shot and a save. Another shot and another save. As Abbott followed up Simos's shot and two really good saves by the goaltender McCarthy. Now here's Abbott with a break in. He's by himself. It's a shorthanded try. Takes a shot, shoots it over the net. Abbott now keeps it, throws it, and it gets to center. And backhands it to the blue line. Here comes Azabet's Ernie Jones. Jones skates in, takes a shot into the nesting off the stick of Rolf, and it stops play. 48 seconds to go in the power play for the Aztec. Hopkinton leading 4 0. Three second period goals here. Have given the Hillers a 4 0 lead. Face off one by the Hillers. They launch the center. Ernie Jones gets it, now gives it, and he gets it back. But he can't handle the puck. Now his Finlayson, who's been flying, throws it in front, tries to get it back now, but it's taken by Delaney. Cam Finlayson just flies all over the ice. And he's a guy the Hillers have to have. Stay focused and stay healthy in the games and stay <laughs> healthy because he is really a difference maker. And there he is again. And the penalty has got 10 more seconds to Linquist. And now a shot and McGrath has to steer it into the corner and there's another shot that goes into the glove of McGrath and he hangs on. What a nice save there. A minute and 47 seconds to go in period number two. And this is the Hillers' 13th game of the season. And they will have seven more. And next up for Hopkinton, they will go on the road and play Norton. And the team who's in its second year. Backhander in front, McGrath has to cover it. Grath has really looked sharp tonight. He's got a 1.5 goals against average. And does Tim McGrath. There's a break and it's a two on one. Shot and a save. As Delaney came pinching down now. Horgan tries to keep it and he does. He throws it behind the net. Delaney throws it to McCluskey. Back to Delaney. Delaney looking to set somebody up. Sloan's in front, and it's a stoppage of play as the referee concedes that McCarthy stopped the puck. And the bet Aztecs will make wholesale changes. Now check that they're only going to change three players, and now a whistle. Have to bring those players back because <laughs> <laughs> they made the change after the Hillers made the change. The home team gets the final change. So once the Hillers put their players out, you have, you have to have a reasonable amount of time where the players are allowed to change. And so when Hopkinton had their guys ready to go, 
Asabet tried to change up players, and that's not allowed in hockey. Although I think it's kind of funny in the high school levels. I mean, you do want matchups. Right. You see that more in the pros, though. Pros want to match up lines versus lines to limit damage. There's a shot bouncing wide of the goal. Zach Horgan throws it behind the net. Out in front, it's loose. It's taken away by Asabet. Bouncing puck. McGrath paddles it twice. And it's uh, a high stick. That'll be a face-off inside the Hiller zone. And with 41 seconds to go. Face-off won by the Hillers. Billy Allen threw it behind the net. Up ice it comes. Here's the Hillers on a break-in. Karpensky holds the line. Hillers had to wait for him a little bit. Now he gets it back, throws it in front, and there, nice defensive play there on the back check by Dimitri McGuigan for Asabet. Now to the point. Rolf, slap shot. It's a save, and McCarthy holds it. Well, Mike, the second period, the Hillers look really strong. I mean, I know they've Very got three goals. The strongest I've seen all year. Yeah, they're all over the place now. They've come out of that locker room, fired up. 30 seconds into the second period, they scored their second goal. And they have been all over the ice here. Face off one, bouncing puck. McCarthy dives out. Yeah, he, he had says, to come a distance for that. No, no chance that was going to get loose from him. He had a nice play. And face off. One by Asabet. Asabet now tries to chip it. And they can't get to center. There's a break in by Karpensky. Karpensky takes a shot and a save. And at the buzzer, <laughs> Hopkinson's fifth goal is denied by the goaltender Ian McCarthy. Well, three second period goals gives the Hillers a 4 0 lead. And we will be back with third period action in just a moment. All right, the third period starts with the Hillers leading 4-0, and it got to uh, four really fast in that second period. 30 seconds in, and Mr. Abbott, Will, picked up his eighth goal of the season. Finlayson and uh, Simos on the assists. And then uh, at the 13.03 mark, almost a minute and 30 seconds later, Owen Delaney scored. And uh, the referees have Jack Sloan and brother Connor giving an assist there. And then Dan Delaney at the 947 mark scored. They are crediting Simos with an assist there. So Simos with a couple of points tonight along with Finlayson. And that's where we stand now. 4 nothing. this period number three starts. Hillers. Backhand shot is loose in front. Oh, it's swept inside and a good defensive play by Rolf. He saw that McGrath was having trouble finding it. And Rolf came, oh, shot off the mask. And that'll wake you up. Well, Asabek coming out of the locker room with some steam now. And the Hill is having trouble clearing the puck here. Rolf now chips it and out, out it comes. Here's Finlayson. Finlayson gets into this Asabet zone. Chips it forward. He's double team now. And down to get it is Abbott. Abbott gets to the circle. Goes cross ice. He's got Pickens. Pickens a wrist shot. That's off the glove and into the glass. And Hillers keep it in. Dan Delaney shot and a save. And it's a laser on goal. That is stopped by the goaltender. Ian McCarthy. Hillers now. Skating from our left to right as we face the bench. This Hopkinton team with 20 points. They have made the tournament. And it is the first time the Hillers have made the tournament this early in the years I've been doing these games. And I'm probably doing a mic for 10 years and it used to always come down to the last week. The Hillers under uh, 
Coach Chris McPherson have made the tournament once before a couple of years ago, and they were beaten in the first round of the playoffs. It was a jolt for the program, but this year now they've done it early. And Pickens keeps it in with his skate, voids the check. Now Linquist tries to dish it down low. Oh, a pass in front as they tried to hit Sloan coming down the left wing. And that was Owen Delaney now tried to do that. Nice try. There's Pickens now with some speed to Sloan. Sloan avoids the check, throws it in, but it's defended nicely by Ernie Jones. Nice write-up in the Metro West Daily News about Ernie Jones. The Saints have a solid season for the Aztecs. And that was in the Metro West Daily News after their win against Littleton Bromfield. Up the sideboard now. Sloan tries to get it out, but he's defended. But then Hillers come, Andrew, uh, he, uh, Aztecs Andrew Chavez comes down to help out. And Zach Horgan dumps it to center and out, and the Hillers are going to change all five players. And they better hurry. Actually, they're going to change only the up front guys. As Koshev checks his man, but he avoids it. Jones takes a shot, paddled twice there, once on the save and once by McGrath into the corner. And out in front it is, but tipped into the side by Volke, and the Hillers look to break out. They do get it to center. Koshev now picks up a rolling puck. Alex Koshev tried to hit Volke coming down the middle, but it's defended by Jones. Jones on the board now. And he's helped out with a couple of Aztec player, oh, an Aztec player now. But Delaney keeps it in. Avoki takes a wrister that's blocked in front and doesn't get on goal. And it's Koshev, cross ice, and it's out of the zone. As it was in the air, as Connor Delaney couldn't handle it. And not through his fault. As Voki now he comes and gets it. Voki throws in front off the stick. And McCarthy dives out and stops play. 11.24 to go here in the game. The Hillers leading by the score of 4 to nothing. And for Hopkinton, three, third peri uh, three second period goals. This gives them the lead. Nick Temple in the faceoff circle. He now is on the ice with Saparosha's on the left wing and McCluskey on the right. And Temple backhands it in. Bouncing puck that goes into the Hiller zone. Icing's going to be waved off, and McGrath covers. Cam Benway was racing in there, and McGrath decided to cover it. Benway in the circle now wins it. Face off to the point it goes. Back to the far board. Rister that goes wide of the net. Benway now with it. Goes to the point. Slap shot and it's sticked. It, and uh, I think it was knocked down in front. Not sure if McGrath got a stick on that. But it was a nice hard shot from the point. And Billy Allen settles it. Throws the center. Saparosius backhands it in the Aztec zone. And there to get it is Adam Melito. Melito, senior forward for the Aztecs. Can't keep it in, but Rolf is there to get it now. And he skates in. Rolf dumps it in on goal, and it's paddled into the corner by McCarthy. Around the hard board, Allen pinches down. He gets it. Looking to set up, he throws it in front, cross ice. Pickens gets it off the board. Pickens takes a wrister on goal. It's a save, and it's scooped into the glove of McCa McCarthy for a stoppage of play. 10.09 to go in the game. You're watching HCAM's coverage of Hopkinton High School hockey. Mike Terosian, camera and color announcer, along here with Mike Prate. It's January 27, 2016, shot on goal. Oh, it almost squeezed by the... Yeah, he got that. <laughs> by the pads of McCarthy. It was a save. You can hear... I'm not sure you can hear it through the headphones, but Dave Quinn, the longtime coach of the Aztecs, given directions. This Aztec team has improved over the few years I've seen them, Mike. They used to be a game that Hopkinton, I wouldn't say could count on winning, but would be competitive over the years when the Hillers were lean. 
But they look pretty solid here. They, they're not terrible. There's a shot and a goal in front, and Abbott puts it in to give the Hillers a 5-0 lead. Oh, he was on the doorstep right inside the circle, and a bouncing puck came to him, and he just hammered it home to give the Hillers a 5-0 lead. And for Will, and that is his second goal of the night, and that gives him nine goals on the season. And ups his point total to 21. Him and Finlayson are both tied with 21 points. They went into the game tied with 19 each. Here's Finlayson now. He gets it back. Dances around the circle. He gets it taken from him. He comes back and defends, but gets it back. Finlayson gets up ice. Now between the circles. Takes a shot, and it goes wide. Back to the point, and Hill has vacated it. They've changed their defense. And Connor Delaney now comes back and gets it. Delaney up ice. And he tried to hit Finlayson, but was defended. Now Abbott with it. And Will Abbott with a couple of goals tonight. To Simos. Simos chips it in, dumps it in the corner. And there to get it is Delaney. R.J. Delaney for the Aztecs. Well, Delaney's out here on the ice. Mike, there's three on Hopkins. Three. And there's one on... Uh, <laughs> three on the ice at once. It's the hard. Can you imagine when they do all four? Mm. And Connor gets in, takes a shot, goes over the net, hits the glass. Sloan comes down and chips a backhander. And, uh, Owen Delaney falls down on the goal line. And Aztecs turn it over, though. Owen gets it back, throws it behind the net. He's got Sloan. Sloan had a couple of goals in the DS win that got them to the tournament. Shot, and it's going to be a penalty up and coming against the Asabet Aztecs, and somebody's stick just snapped. And that's the first time I've had to say that this year, Mike, into the penalty box. By the way, for the first time, the Hillers will be on the power play. A slash. I was about to say, there goes 190 bucks down the drain for some father and mother. I'm sure it's not their first $190. Oh, there's nothing worse than, as a hockey parent <laughs> watching that happen. I had one of mine break three in two weeks. It's, it's, it's just incredible. The amount of money that these kids go through a year with equipment, ice time. And, oh. I used to say, can't you buy one of them $15 wooden ones? With the plastic end? <laughs> All right, the Hillers, it's going to be five on four, uh -huh. and, and they're waiting for the scorekeeper to put the penalty up. And there it is. Yeah, he was, uh, I think he was on Facebook, sorry. Peyton Breyer picks up the penalty. And it's a slash. Slap shot from Pickens in from the point. It's a goal. Not sure if it was tipped in front. I think Will Pickens got it. And if he did, for Will, that is his second goal of the season. And the Hillers with a power play goal in seven seconds. Uh, what did you just say last period about a uh, not seeing a shorthanded goal? I mean, oh. a, uh, power hit, I mean, power play, but you said shorthanded. Short I have a funny feeling we may see one tonight mm -hmm. at the rate <laughs> that these goals are going in. Everything's happening so far. For the Hillers, they were five for 14 on the power play. And now make that six for 15 shot. Uh, six for 16. There's a shot. It's a, another save by McCarthy. Backhander by Volke. Here's a, oh, and if it wasn't for the check that of R.J. Delaney, that would have been a goal for Karpensky in front. Horgan now throws it. Goes off of his own man, Volke. Henry Koshef will now get it. Settles the puck down. Now he avoids a check. The sophomore defenseman chips it, and then he's double teamed. And he loses the handle on that boat. Coming down to help out is Horgan. And now Pickens up ice to Volke. Volke can't catch it. But he has enough to keep it from being a big time turnover. A power play goal here in this period has also now added to the Hiller game. And there's a stoppage. They're not going to let him stop it because they want him to play on. 
Allen now. Hill has scored once in the first period, three times in the second, and two more here in the third. And they have a 6 nothing lead with six minutes and 20 seconds to go. Allen now pinches down on the board. He's helped up by Temple, who came back and filled his defensive spot. And that is one of the things that's been impressive to Mike with this Hopkins team all year, is when a defenseman pinches in, one of the other players fills in. And that time you saw Temple do it. Here's Volke now, tries a wraparound. It's saved by McCarthy. And as he covers it, Volke tried to wrap around. And McCarthy got his leg on the post and stopped it. So anyway, I was saying, you know, you notice that a lot more this year. Right. That's unselfish play, and that's how you get, you know, that's how you make the tournament. A lot of things are going right. The goaltending has been strong. The defense has been solid. And the goal scoring is coming when needed. And there's a shot from the point by Pickens is on goal. It's a save. You know, and that all adds up, like I said, and, and all doing the little things puts you over. Here's Delaney. He has a goal tonight. Shot. Oh, it hits the mask of the goaltender, McCarthy. And he has to reach out and make another close save. Went diving for that one. Went diving for it. Well, if he didn't, I think that was in the corner mm -hmm. of the net. Yeah, he wasn't taking any chances. Well, was he's, very smart play. He, he's looked pretty sharp. It's just a barrage now. The shots on goal total going into this period, Mike, was 34-18 in favor of the Hillers. They turned it on in that second period. They had 21 shots on goal. It was a tip in front. McCarthy gloves it and stops play. The first period's pretty even in shots on goal. So was the scores, one nothing. Hillers had 13, Azabeth had 10, but in that second period, Hillers had 21 shots on goal to only eight by the Aztecs. And then the puck is dumped in. Coveney now can't throw it, but paddled, and uh, McGrath throws it around the back, and that's somehow Karen back there. And here is Coveney. Coveney at the blue line. Now at the circle, looking to pass. He throws in front, tipped in front. A, Looked like he had trying to hit McCluskey coming down there. Kept in. Slap shot goes behind the net. Asabet throws it around the boards and long. Saparos has come down now. He puts on the brakes and reverses. Now throws it behind the net. McCluskey goes and get it. Somebody is without a stick. There's a stick on the ice. I shouldn't say without a stick, but there's a stick on the ice. McCluskey now is working out his man over. Dylan Sawyer tries to get it out. They can't. The Aztecs are try having problems with four minutes and 25 seconds to go in the game. Here's Dimitri McQuiggan takes a shot on goal, and it's a save by McGrath. He steers it. Now up ice. Here's Saparosh. Oh, he threw oh, a blind, a, blind yep. head pass that the Hillers weren't ready for. Icing won't happen now. It's waved off. Ernie Jones throws it hard around the board. He tries to hit a man. He can't get it. And Simos comes down and takes it. And it's a two-on-two -two breakout now. There's the two young defensemen, Horrigan and Koshef are back. Koshef, a sophomore, along with Jack Horrigan. Yes, Jack Horrigan, rather a freshman defenseman. And the puck is taken away. The pass in front of the shot, and it's a whistle. And Interference. Finn Mason's going to go to the penalty box. And he's getting a long explanation by the refs. Interference. He's yes. telling them why. And so the Aztecs will go on a power play. I think Finlayson just agrees to disagree. <laughs> Very nicely done about it. It was discussed. Now he'll sit there and think about it. All right, so with 3.30 to go in the contest, the Hillers will defend a five on four. Puck goes behind the net. Aztecs are not on the board yet. Hillers leading six, nothing. 
They pass cross ice, bouncing puck. Ernie Jones came down from the slot, tried to get it, and Hill has launched it down the length of the ice. Good play by Rolf. And Everett Rolf, a junior defenseman, launched it down ice. He's there to get it again, gets it, and softly throws it on goal. Bounces. McCarthy steers it into the corner. Jones now gets it. Ernie Jones behind the net. Gives it up. Here comes the Aztecs up ice. And they get to the center line. Slap shots blocked by Billy Allen. And it's taken by Simos. Went to Hillis Hurry. And they had a chance for the shorthanded goal that Mike thought was going to happen. I, I say it's not over yet. A Allen bounces a puck towards the goal. And it is taken away. Oh, and a save. Had to be made on the shorthanded attempt <laughs> I was by Will that was Abbott. It. I was hoping that was it. Well, that was close. <laughs> it well. looked like McCarthy had trouble with it, Mike, in the beginning, and it bounced away from him. And Abbott was right on the doorstep, and he tried to jam it in, but McCarthy stopped it. Well, they got 30 more seconds to try it. Well, 30 seconds to go in the penalty to the Hillers. And it's a steal. Here's Temple, lost a handle on it and it's thrown out the center where Connor Delaney now swings it back in. Down the ice, Alex McConnell gets it, throws it up the board, but there's Connor again. Delaney throws it in, on goal and it's a save. McCarthy decides to hold it, <laughs> even though there's only a couple of his players coming in to get it. Yeah. I, when you've had six goals scored, on you as a team, you're not taking too many chances. And I think he's having an equipment problem too here, so. 2.07 to go in the game. The Hillers leading 6 nothing. Hey guys, give, me, give it to me here, seven seconds. <laughs> There's a faceoff win. That's pass that goes wide and out of the zone. Connor Rodriguez gets it to center. Tim Layson's out of the box and he's gonna chase the puck. He's got a little energy now, he's sitting for a while. A minute and 30. And up ice it comes. Here comes Dylan Sawyer. Sawyer takes the shots, blocked by Karpensky. Back to the point it goes, McConnell. And the Hill is trying to get that. Oh, there's a backhander. It's and it, oh, oh, it's in his pads. It it's came in his out. Pad, yeah. Actually, it might not have been his pad, Mike. It, it might have been it. loose. Yeah. That just happened the other night to uh, the last time we did a game. Yep. Same kind of play. Or I'm having deja vu again. I don't know. But that <laughs> that thing it was hidden back there, and all of a sudden it was popped there out was. in front. I was waiting for the whistle to blow. Because McGrath looked kind of behind him like he thought it was through him. But it didn't go in. And Hiller's trying to prevent his, uh, uh, protect his shutout now with a minute and five to go in the contest. And Delaney is pulled down from behind us. He was trying to go forward. Temple comes to help out now. Now it's passed in front. A good defensive play by Karpensky. Tried to prevent a pass in front. And the Hillers stay on sides. And from Mason almost did the splits at the blue line. Right. And around the board it goes. And with 30 seconds to go in the game. The Hillers are going to go on to win their 11th game of the season. And they have done it as a whistle stop in the play offsides on the Hillers. And they have done it with a first period goal, three second period goals, and two here in the third. Next up for Hopkinton, they'll go on the road on Saturday. And that, I believe, is the first of December. Of uh, December. February. There's a break in. Ten seconds to go. It's kept in by Azabet. Volke checks his man off the puck. Out it comes to center. And that's going to do it. McGrath is going to get himself a shutout here tonight. And the horn sounds ending tonight's game. So I was starting to say for the Hillers, they'll go on the road on Saturday. I believe it's the first. Right? Or the 30th. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> all these days are running together. I would say the 30th. They're going to go up against Norton. Yeah, it is the 30th. I, and then um, our next HCAM broadcast will be against Holliston on Wednesday, uh, February 5th. Which so you won't be here for. Yeah. 
And that's going to wrap up HKM's coverage of Hopkinton High School Hockey, where the score, the final score is the Hillers 6, Asabet nothing. For Mike Terosian, I'm Mike Prate saying thanks for watching, everybody.